Here we are right in the middle of the park, the Shiro River. That's the river that has run through the park from Lake Malawi to Zambezi. And uh, what has happened here is that uh, we have found this, this boat and the poachers has run away into the bush. What they do normally is they poach fish as well as um, hunting animals. So um, if it is not like at night, then they pack the boat and start poaching animals. Then at night they come back, start fishing. My name is Rafael Chiwindo. I used to work in the park, the Department of Parks and Wildlife, as a ranger. Now I'm working with the IFO, that's International Fund for Animal Affairs. My name is Azadine Downs, and I'm the president and CEO of the International Fund for Animal Welfare. The, the crux of the life here uh, emanates from the river. And that's true for people, and it's true for the animals. In many parks, you'll find that there are communities who live near the park. But in Luwandi, the fact of the matter is that the people are living literally on the borders of the park. So the interaction is, is quite intense. That led us to believe that unless we did something with the community, and unless we could convince the community that it was in their best interest to be involved in a conservation project, um, that we had no chance of success. I was a ranger, I was chasing poachers, you know, fighting, making sure that the law is enforced. Then um, I decided to say, no, I've been working with the, the government, but now I have to change my career to work with the communities, because I saw something unique from the community. The community was not the problem, because they were lacking something just to keep them alive in the village. That is like water, that's why they were found in the park fetching water and they were lacking some maybe proteins, that's why they were fishing. And they were lacking something like meat, that's why they were approaching the park. Then we are here to provide them with all those things. Water, security, proteins, vegetables, and the like. My name is Michael Bashane. I work regionally doing anti-poaching. And this is our first community project. We offered what we could call shares. So you could buy a share in the produce by giving 30 days labor. So that's nine hour days. So 25 families bought shares. That was one of the more moving things about this project to me. You have no idea how hard the soil is, how difficult it is to do construction work on this level with nothing but labor. I'm last one I'm 33 years old. I'm a farmer. I'm appreciated to, to join this program because I know that uh, I can benefit more. Because as, as of now, we have cultivated our crops there and they are well protected by the, the elephants because of this fence. So I'm pleased to be one of the members here, one of the 25 families. Ja, mein Name ist Peter Wüste, ich bin deutscher Botschafter in Malawi seit etwa zwei Jahren. Malawi leidet unter enormem, enormer Überbevölkerung und hat hier ein ausgesprochen seltenes Biotop als Nationalpark, eine große Flusslandschaft. Und die Bevölkerung drängt aber in den Park hinein, auch äh, zur Fischerei. Es gibt auch große Maße Fischwilderei. Und hier hoffen wir direkt an der Parkgrenze für das Dorf eine eigene alternative Einkommensquelle zu schaffen und gleichzeitig mit einer besseren Struktur äh, den Park elefantensicher zu halten, weil die Elefanten sind regelmäßige Besucher in den Dörfern gewesen mit hohen Verlusten und äh, äh, tragischen Ereignissen im Dorf.
I'm extremely proud of this project. Um, it hasn't been easy, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, there were a lot of people who told us that we wouldn't be able to carry out this project, um, that the community wouldn't understand the connection between uh, protecting the wildlife and their needs. And um, we persevered, and we persevered over a number of years. So even though there's more work to do as you look around, uh, I'm extraordinarily proud personally and for the organization because if we hadn't persevered, if we hadn't uh, insisted that the community was important, we wouldn't be here today and I think the animals would be uh, in danger because of that.